Hello everyone, Hüne here and today I want to show you how you can extract the textures from Fallout 4 and edit them with Photoshop. So first step you need to do now is to go to this little page and download this zip file. It contains the Fallout 4 texture extractor. Um, when you unzip it and uh, put it somewhere you get this little folder with the two files in it. You don't need the script dump. It's only for script. We need the ba2extract.exe. Um, but you don't normally start it by clicking on it because it have no direction where your uh, Fallout folder is. You have to start it with uh, holding shift and right click on the folder and open command window here. So then this little command window opens. Um, next step is you need to know where your Fallout textures are. You go to your Fallout uh, folder. Oh, nope, that's not it. Um, here we have it. Um, mine is under Program, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, Data. And there we have Fallout 4 Textures, 1.ba2. Uh, they're going down to Textures 9. Um, you want to unpack all of these. Um, therefore, you copy this line, paste here your directory, uh, change the name of the texture, like texture 1, texture 2, for all the nine files. And um, here, the last one is where you want to the program to save it. I save it in the same folder, program, file, steam, apps, fallout, data, and it creates a new folder named texture 1. I just copy this line, paste it in here, press enter, then the programs run um, and extract the textures. When I go now to my, nope, that's not it again, follow data, um, I have here the textures one folder. There in there, there's a textures folder and here we have all the genres we have on the textures like actors and the power armor, for example. Here we can find all the pictures from the power armor. Um, but these are DDS files. You can't open them with uh, Photoshop at this point. You need a little plugin. Um, the plugin you can simply download on this page from NVIDIA. Just download the plugin, install it. It's very simple, so I don't make a tutorial for this. Um, yeah, and then you ha um, have can change the textures with uh, Photoshop. I will quickly show. I go to my textures file ordner, actors and power armor. For example, here I have the body jaw texture. That's uh, it, um, that's for the T45 uh, with the jaw skin. I don't know, perhaps you find it in the uh, game already. It's a skin where you have a very military looking with a jar face on the main frame of your body armor. Um, yeah, then I changed it with Photoshop. Very simple. I don't know. I just replace this name with the other. You can also um, take a complete gray and just name it like that. And uh, here I have it. I named it, for example, T60 arm jaws, T60 body jaws, etc. Um, then you have to get it back into your game. The good thing is you don't have to uh, put it, uh, you don't have to pack, repack the textures. You just simply can make a new folder named textures. Then, because we are from textures, the um, power armor is under textures, actors, power armor. We have to create a folder at actors, power armor, and then we can add our files. It doesn't matter from which of the folder, uh, texture folder is came. They are all the same for the folder. So you don't have to name it texture one, texture two, etc. No, just textures. Then your directory, in this case, actors, power armor, and then you can re uh, replace every texture we want. Uh, like the T60, uh, arm jaws are replaced with my interpretation of it. Uh, with my retexturation, I mean. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, leave a like and have fun modding the game.